What's up everybody? We got another awesome tips and tricks video here for you at the Fish Blue Water channel. I got Mike Calabrese's Fire Tails. We're out here offshore. It's fall in South Florida. And these guys right here have shown up everywhere. They are abundant, right? What do they say? Match the hatch or when you've got bait available, take advantage of what you've got. So these guys here can be an ideal bait. Grab yourself a cast net, six, eight, doesn't matter. Net yourselves a couple dozen baits. You wanna troll around for a dolphin, wahoo, kings, sails. Can absolutely rig up a, an amazing bait that swims phenomenal with these little finger mullets. And Mike's gonna show you how to do it now. All right, we'll start with our finger mullet. And if you can fillet a fish, you could probably prep one of these baits to rig. So what we'll do is we'll start out, nice little paring knife, short and sharp. And we'll make an incision just like you're filleting a fish along its back. And then you're gonna do a second one on the other side of the backbone, which is actually easier than it might seem, but you're just gonna follow that. And then at this point, you got that meat separated from the body. We're gonna take a little pair of scissors, snip, snip, and then you can use your fingers to actually run this out. Kind of pinch your way down along the belly there, and out comes all this meat. Get rid of the guts. And what you're left with is a beautiful hollow mullet that stays closed when you troll it and is very limber and swims very good. So that's all there is to it for prepping these. Next, we'll rig it. It's got a little short shank J hook here. We're gonna line up so the eye of the hook lands somewhere within the mouth of that fish. What we'll do next is poke a little hole where that hook is going to exit the mullet after lining it up. Right there. Take your hook. Put it on in. Okay. Then whether you like to use wire or mono, it doesn't really matter. Um, for mono, I'll take a hollow needle and push the mono up in there to help push that through the bait. For wire, you can, actually wire, it's easier to do the same thing as well. So we're going to Put that in there, we're all loaded up, like so. And we're gonna open the gill up here, and I'll pull some of these gills out just so I can see the eye of that hook. And we're gonna go up through the eye of the hook and pop out somewhere center on the fish's head. Just like that. And then from here, it's just a tight haywire twist. Nice and tight. and start twisting. All right, it's just about done. Sometimes what we'll do is we'll finish it with a either floss or a zip tie, just to keep that head all closed up. And that's your bait right there. Is that uh, the zip tie to keep the gills Yeah, it keeps, closed, so keeps the gills out. closed, keeps the head tight, keeps the weight tight there. Gotcha. Um, and that's it, that's your ready to go bait. You can fish these naked or you can throw a little skirt over the top, sea witch, whatever, but that thing will swim incredible. This zip ties a little off. I like to go further over the gills. No doubt. Wow. Do another one. That is, I mean, you can just see the kind of action I usually that use bait's floss, gonna but have the in the water. Mike, what, what number uh, what number wire? That's this? number six wire. Number six wire. Yeah, six or seven. Perfect. Well there you have it folks. Finger mullet, most people think about mullet, you know, for tarpon and snook, but they're all over the beach this time of the year, late September, all the way in through October. And save yourself some money. You got a cast net, throw the net, rig up some mullets quick and easy. Great got, planer bait. Got great some beautiful bait. baits to troll around on the planer, flat lines or whatever. Go out and catch you some pelagic. So hope you enjoyed that tip from Mr. Mike Calabrese. And uh, awesome there's, there's more to come here at Fish Blue Water, so hit that subscribe button. And uh, every Thursday, we're coming to you with a new video.